All right, guys, we got a 2006 Ford Fusion right here. Now I'm, I'm kind of walking into this. Uh, someone else had checked it out and uh, I have inherited it because that someone else is not here today. So uh, what I'm gonna be doing is replacing this uh, right front CV axle due to this torn and leaking boot right here. See that little uh, hole in it? It flung out all the grease. And uh, I understand it has a power steering rack somewhere. So, or a leak in the power steering rack and I think that's it right there. So uh, we're replacing the steering rack and uh, this uh, right front CV axle. I guess first things first is I'm gonna pop these tie rods off and uh, break the gem nut loose, free up the uh, both steering knuckles, and then I will uh, disassemble this side to get that axle out of there. And after that comes out, I'll go ahead and pull this rack out of this and uh, begin uh, installing the new components. Let's see, driver's side. I don't have a light over here, so we can't see. That's okay, I'm just pulling out the cotter pin. Don't make a liar out of me, cotter pin. Come out. I will end you. You. There. Okay, this is the first ever view of the United States Impact Cam. You guys are attached to the Impact Cover. Try it again over here. Really? Okay, first things first, let's protect this stud and then I can get the uh, tie rod pulling device on here to break this thing free of the spindle. Do -do 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 -do. Break this jam nut loose so I don't uh, get stuck later on. Then, let's get this uh, tie rod separator in there. A couple tappy taps. tighten this guy down. As this tightens, it's gonna press down on this and pull up on this and it's gonna break that stud free of the spindle. Fingies crossed. I'm gonna hide behind the fender. This thing scares me. It is a Harbor Freight tool. Got it. Okay, there's a decent amount of rust here, so let's uh, get some lubricant on there. That was easy. It's because the lube makes everything slide better. More loud noises. I'm gonna push the axle out of the bearing. In there. Wow, that's really in there. What? Ah, this just got more complicated. Okay. More lubricant. Let's lube the orifice from the back, too. Just in case we need to hit it from both sides. You evil bastard. Hmm. I knew that backside lube would work. Okay, so we need to kind of pull something back here to generate some space in order to squeeze this axle out. And I've got two lower ball joints here. I think I'll leave those there. And I'm just gonna break this loose off of this uh, upper control arm right here. And uh, then swing the whole steering knuckle back and that should give me enough space to, uh, to sneak this axle out of here. Let's try that. time with the Harbor Freight goodies if it's gonna fit I will 
a linear impact driver you in. Get in there. Should be good. Oh no, I can't get my tool on that uh, little thing there. I'll do it manually. Wrong one. Begin coming out now. Yes, my superpowers impress me also. Do 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 do. Do do do. I got the phone. That's enough. Okay, let's finish driving this axle out, then we can pop it out from the trans. Ah, oh, it's still going. Do, 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 do. Sing it, Petey. It just won't stop. Do, 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 do. There we go. They hung up. Okay, that's uh, it came out. Flashlight gravity. Okay, let's raise this thing up because I've got to get uh, I've got to get the uh, intermediate bearing disconnected from the engine block in order to get this out. Um, I'm hoping that inner joint is going to squeeze through this little wishbone bracket here. Otherwise, I've got a lot more disassembly to do. Fusion going up and on the locks for safety. Not going to die today. All right, so this axle here is a two-piece. There's the outboard side, which we're replacing for the torn boot, and then there's the intermediate shaft. And I do believe that it will separate here. So I will apply some uh, linear impact duck and ducts uh, right here to the inboard joint of the outboard shaft, and we'll press it out of its splines right here. And then uh, maybe I can sneak it out through this uh, little wishbone looking deal. Uh, if not, I've got to take all this stuff apart and uh, separate it to sneak the axle out. I hope I don't, but I probably will. All right, loud noises. There it goes. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to pull that uh, wishbone thingy off. This isn't gonna come out through that hole. No way. All right, let's get out of here and let this thing back down some. On the locks. Okay, let's get in here and I'm gonna try to pull this out. Maybe it'll fit. We're gonna find out today. Gonna make it? I think not. Nope, not a chance. Okay, more disassembly. Gravity. These things are stupid dangerous. It's basically a nut with this little uh, dangly bit on it. And that dangly bit's designed to catch whatever it's bolted to. Well, people will hold on to these and then try to pull the bolt out. And once it breaks free, this guy will spin back around and grab your finger and talk about cutting the crap out of you. I do not like these things at all. They are death traps. Cell box over. I find myself in a very weird position where I have no space, so I'm going to pull this brake caliper and bracket off just to move this line out of the way so I can get this over here so I can try to get this down and through this little slot right here. Because nothing fits. Mm. Extension. No, I'm not pulling this thing super tight. I've got it loose, so it's okay. All right, Caliper, you're coming with me. Let's put this, maybe we'll put this over here. Yeah, we'll hang this off of the strut. There. 
Okay, so let's see, this comes up and over. Ow! There we go. Got it. Yeah, it looks like the new one's gonna be the inverse of the removal process of the old one. Just jam it all in there. Trying to line the splines up with the intermediate shaft inside, but I can't see anything. Ah, that's it. I think I got it. Uh, let's do. Let's give this thing a couple tappy taps, maybe to hammer it home inside. It's not going. Try again. I think I got it that time. Yeah, it's in. Mostly. That's it. She's home. Uh-huh, yep, it's seated, we're good here. Okay, let's put the rest of this back together and then I'll pull that steering rack out. All right, so real quick, let's get uh, let's get this spindle and stuff put back together. Oop. Now you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the outboard end of this axle inside of the bearing. And we'll set that in there. Line up lines aren't lining up there we go and I want to go ahead and get the upper ball joint on there hmm gonna need more pry bar or I need to just pick it up yeah Get on there. I'm holding this with my stomach. That hurts. Okay. Flashlight. Right. All right, let's start getting some of this stuff buttoned back up. You gotta be kidding me. Become tight now. That's not gonna work. Okay. Um, well, I think I'll, in that case, put this wishbone on and then pry bar on this upper control arm and that will that'll put some friction on that stud and that will tighten back up. So I guess I'll just do that last. Uh, that being said, I suppose I'll put the caliper on since that's kind of in the... Oh yeah! Screw you, gravity! You guys saw that. That's legit. Alright, now that I'm done floating my own boat, let's put this uh, caliper bracket back together. Um, I can't see. Yeah, now I can kind of see-ish. Another bolt. Wrong side. Try again. Click. And while we're here, let's get this uh, wishbone dealio put back on. I don't really know what the actual name of it's called. Strut bracket, maybe? I don't know. And I'm gonna make sure I keep my fingies clear. because I don't want to chop them off. I don't think this is the right one. Nope. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now, let's try to get that guy right there. Oh, 
So I need to generate some friction on the stud on that ball joint. So I'm gonna go in there, this pry bar, pull down on uh, this control arm and then hit it. Click. Okay, so that's on, brakes on, that's on, axles in. We need to put this uh, brake hose bracket back. Go in your hole. Click. Okay. Axle nut, here you go. And I believe this gets torqued to about 200 foot pounds. Uh, I didn't look it up yet, but I will. That's 160 pounds. I'll finish it off later when I set this down on the ground. In the meantime, I need to pull the other side off and start getting the steering rack out of here. Uh, I actually might have to drop the subframe some, but I'm gonna save that for tomorrow's video and just kind of segregate these two operations. So that being said, I'm gonna close this one out right now. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. I certainly do appreciate it. Let me know what you thought about this in the comment section down below. While you're down there, don't forget to tap your tap that like button. That helps me out and it definitely tells the algorithm that you enjoyed what I was doing here today. So again, and as always, thanks for watching. And most importantly, don't forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later.